I'm here just outside Tumbarumba, New South Wales, where Jordan Murnay, the owners of the farm we're on, uh, found something lying in their paddock and thought it could have been space junk. Now, the reason they actually thought this was potentially space junk was of seeing the reports earlier that we made based on those first pieces found. Now, the first two pieces were found by farmers Mick and Jock near Delgetty, New South Wales. And now these, after we reported, were eventually confirmed by SpaceX, and a third piece was reported a little bit further west. But this new piece is near Tumbarumba, which is about 100 or so kilometers west of Delgetty, where the first pieces were found. And this is the new piece that Jordan and Renee found uh, after they moved it to their shed. And you can see why they thought it was space junk. There are a lot of similarities in the pattern on the top. You can see some scorching um, right above. You can also see that the middle material is very similar to the other pieces of space junk. So it looks undoubtedly from the SpaceX Crew 1 trunk. Oh, was Saturday a week ago, about 11 a.m., we were feeding the cows, just rolling a bale of hay out in the paddock and got to the end of the roll and I saw a bit of junk on the ground and thought I'll get out and have a look at it, see what it is, thought something may have blown in off the road and uh, yeah, pretty much, and uh, I was going to take it up home and throw it in the bin and my wife came down on the quad bike to see what I was looking at and uh, we give it a kick and have a look and made a bit of a joke that it could have been space junk. And uh, pretty much we Googled it, saw a photo of something with a similar pattern. And that's when we decided to contact Brad and uh, see whether he could come out and confirm it. So we headed out to the exact site where the uh, piece of space junk was found on their farm. Now, in order to get out there, the uh, Jordan didn't want the uh, cows to be harassing us. Uh, and he's also kind of showing what he did on that day. So he rolled out the uh, uh, bale of hay for the cows. You can see the, the cows know it's feeding time. And this is essentially what he was doing on the day. He was just rolling out a bale of hay. The cows were going out to go eat it. Uh, and as he was stumbling upon the paddock, he saw uh, this bit of junk in the distance that he thought, well, maybe was from a car. But when he got out to inspect it, thought, hey, maybe it actually is something more. And when he hopped out, uh, this part of their farm is actually kind of close to the road. So he, he thought maybe it was something blown in or a piece of car debris. Uh, and it was also a part of their farm they don't often go to. So you're saying the you usually roll the hay the other way? Yeah, and it's just been getting a bit torn up, so yeah. we decided to come this way. Come on the other yeah. side and, and low and view. And uh, do you just kind of avoid it because you're too close to the road? Is that one of the reasons, or oh. just? Um, no, this is a bit of a wetter area. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. I actually, it's quite boggy. You can yeah, tell. It's a bit yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Gotcha. And it, run, running down to yeah. the river. Yeah. Okay. And so here it was, it was just lying in the paddock amongst uh, some cow patties. Uh, and it's at quite super lightweight. We think this is one of the inside panels um, of the trunk, so there's not much metal to it. Uh, Jordan circled the area just so we can see in case we were doing any measurements. And so you can really see that this is the fourth piece of space junk from the Crew 1 trunk. And like Jordan Renee, if you think you found pieces, feel free to contact me. And don't forget to subscribe to YouTube to stay up to date for more space news.